Hello my lords, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Nick's Rav's Food Log. Tish the season to be jolly, and we're making today a Christmas special meatloaf served with a side of mashed potatoes. So let's start with the Christmas meatloaf. So the first thing we do is put a pan on medium to high heat and pour in a good amount of oil. To this we add a good amount of minced garlic and a good amount of chopped onion. And we cook this through. When the garlic is browned and the onion has cooked too, we take it off the heat and add it to two kilos of chicken mince. And now we give this a good mix. And now we make an indent in the center and add some sour cream, a lightly beaten egg, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of mustard. So the spice mix contains paprika, cayenne pepper, crushed black pepper, ginger powder, and some cinnamon. Then we add some mixed dried herbs, and lastly, some salt. And now we give it a good mix. And now for two kilos of chicken, we add about 500 grams, or a little bit more, of breadcrumbs. There we go. And give it a good mix. So now we divide this mixture into half. Take half of it and keep it aside. To half of it, we add some pureed tomato. And now we add a glass bowl to the chicken. To the other half, we add some amount of milk. Now the idea is to get the meat not too moist, but not too firm either. Somewhere in the middle ground. We give this a good mix. On a silpat mat, we get the half of the meat that was mixed with the milk, rub some oil on my hands, and flatten it up. So if after doing this, you don't feel like making a meatloaf, but making burger patties instead, you can. And then call an elephant home for dinner. Because size, it's just big enough for an elephant. On the spread out meat, we add the remaining meat. Oil my hands slightly. And spread it out. And now, we roll this up to form a roulade. And now we divide this into half in a buttered pan, a bread pan mostly. We put half of it in. And then the other half. And now we put this on an oven tray and into the oven it goes at 180 degrees for about an hour. There we go. Now that I have an hour to wait, I'm going to make some nice mashed potatoes. And these are done.
As the meatloaf is getting done, we need to prepare a glaze so that we can glaze our meatloaf and put it back in the oven. And some malt vinegar. We put this in in a 3 is to 1 ratio. There we go. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of mustard, and a tablespoon and a half of honey. And now we just mix all of this together. And to this we add a little bit of oil. Now that an hour has passed, now meatloaf is more or less done, it's time to glaze it and put it back in the oven. So, we have our prepared glaze here. Don't be afraid of the glaze dripping off. It's more important to get the glaze completely on the meatloaf. And now, we put this back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, or more if you like a really well done meatloaf. <laughs> and now we let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before we demold it. So now that the meatloaf has completely cooled down, it's been demolded and it's time to cut it into slices. So let's begin. So there you have it. A relatively easy lazy man's Christmas meal. A meatloaf with a side of mashed potatoes and some easy quick chicken gravy. For the recipe of the gravy, click on the link in the description below. This is best enjoyed with a chilled or warm glass of mulled wine. But that's another story. Till then, Merry Christmas!